I still find it hard to believe how we came to this place, how we survived as a family, how we made a happy life for ourselves stranded on this lonely island, a thousand miles from civilization. Longer, Hans. It's lasted six days already. It says here, Father, that in the sub-equatorial coastal regions of the African coast, storms are commonly of short duration. Thanks, Ernest. That's very comforting to know. Hold that wheel! Hold! Ah! Jenny. Jenny, dear, don't be afraid. I'm going on deck. I might be able to help. There's room for one more in the first boat. You go, Jenny. Promise to your family that we look after you. But Mrs. Robin, hurry, girl, hurry. I'll be back for the rest of you. in the lifeboat. What about us? We must be stuck on the reef. All we can do is sit and hope for the storm to blow over. start the day. I think we'll need it. <laughs> Splendid. And meanwhile, the boys and I will find out where we are. Come on, lads. You don't want to sleep all day? Do you? on the coral. I wonder if there's anyone else on the board. Down, boys. 
No one else here, Father. Only the animals. That's it, then. It looks as if we're the only survivors. Poor Jenny. How terrible. But all the others. Is there nothing we can do? Nothing. Except to offer a prayer. We all knew in our hearts how grave matters were. A whole family cast away on a remote island, lost and lonely, except for each other. Feed the animals. I'll wash the dishes. I'll look for more food. So much work. And there's just the six of us. Well, boys, you think we can do it? Yes, yes father! Yes, we yes, can do it, can't we? Yes. But you, father, we can do anything. as a team, everyone helping. Till at last, five days later, we had most of the ship's provisions safely stored away on dry land. Oh, I think we've got just about everything worth salvaging. Father, did you get the books from the captain's cabin? Yes, and the telescope and the instruments and all the supplies. It's all here, Ernest. Lots of books and lots of food. among ourselves will not help us. We must all work together, not fight. What we need now is a house. What about the cow and the donkey and the pig? The hatch is too small. We can't get them through. We could make the hole in the small hatch bigger. We'd never cut through that, Francis. It's solid oak wood with iron bolts through it. Hey, why not break open the side of the ship? Yes, with gunpowder. Gunpowder? Uh, it could be a bit dangerous, but it's worth a try. Come on. Hans, do be careful, please. We will, don't worry. Will the animals be safe in there? Yes, Fritz. The blast will just make an opening in the side. Most of the impact will go away from the ship. <laughs> hey, puppy, come back here. need shelter. First things first, Martha. They'll be safe for a while in the open. But we need shelter. We can't live in a tent forever. I like living in a tent. You won't like it when the rainy season comes. Ernest is right, boys. Our next job is to find a place to build a house. Who'll help me look? Me! Me! me. I will! Me! It must be lunchtime. What happened? Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs>
What we need is a nice dry spot. It must be safe from wild animals. Ooh, tigers and lions. Scaredy cat. Not at all. Carnivorous members of the feline family inhabit these latitudes. So don't speak if you're ignorant of the facts. Ignorant, am I? I'll give you ignorance, you... Stop fighting and listen to father. Thanks, Fritz. There must be fresh water nearby and feed for the animals. And when we found that, we'll look for a shelter for ourselves. Come on, then. It's getting late. I think. Actually, Father, it was an anaconda, Eunectus marinus. <laughs> right, my little scholar. Now, what about applying that clever mind of yours to building this house, huh? For weeks, we worked on the house. best, Francis. But there's not much food left. Well, that's our next job, Martha. As soon as the house is finished, we'll plant crops and... Hey! Ernest got more than me! I have not. Your eyes are too big, that's all. At it again? Won't you two ever learn? You're supposed to be brothers, you know. 
We've got to cooperate if we want to get our house finished. Two barrels of salted meat, five bags of flour, and six bags of seeds. Is that all, Father? And that's all we have left from the ship's stores. But the cow will give us milk. And we've got sheep and pigs. And ducks and chickens. And it's not enough, boys. We must plough the soil and plant crops, put up fences, and learn to hunt and fish. Yes! I want to go fishing now. Don't forget my sewing and mending. I wish Jenny Montrose were here. She'd help you, Mother. Poor Jenny. It's all my fault. If I hadn't sent her to the lifeboat, she was like my own child. <laughs> Martha, don't blame yourself. How were we to know that the ship was safer than the lifeboat? How can I ever tell her parents? Don't think about it, dear. It's God's will. Uh, everyone, off to bed now. There's a lot to do tomorrow. We ploughed a field and planted our first crop. But it wasn't all hard work. Yeah! Hooray! Hooray! I hit it! No, you didn't. I did. You all did. You've done very well. Now, just don't forget the safety rules. Well, now you can try this one. What is it? I know. It's a bolus. The cowboys use it in South America. That's right. Watch. Whoa. Oh! Father, hurry. Oh, hey. I caught a whale! <laughs> Boys, give him a hand. No, no, I'll do it by myself. I can see its big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's some whale. <laughs> as soon as we were settled in, we continued the boys' interrupted education. Not always with success. E S G A. Uh uh. Francis, no looking. G H I J K L M. Now, Jack. How's the arithmetic going? I can't do it. I won't do it. I'm not going to do it. Jack, don't talk to your father like that. It's horrible. What's the use of being on an island if you've got to do school work? Don't you realize how important this is? It doesn't matter if we're in the middle of a city or here on an island. Without education, we are nothing. But I... Books and learning are as vital to us as food and water. I hate books, and I hate everyone! No, leave him. He'll be all right in the morning. That Jack... He's always in trouble. He's young, and he's bored. Mm. If he had something important to do, something he could do really well.
father. What's wrong? It's Jack. He's gone. Jack? In the jungle? Martha, quick. Bring some players from the store. Exactly. How would you like to go on an expedition with Fritz? To find out. Oh, yes. Of course, you'll have to learn to read a compass, make maps, and there's arithmetic in that, you know. I don't care. I'll work and work, and as soon as I know what to do, we'll go. Whoopee! Hey, Fritz! Ernest! Francis! What? He's not such a bad boy. I know, Hans. Now, do be careful, boys. We will, Mother. Why can't I come, too? I'm big enough, I can fight anyone. I know. That's why you must stay here, to help protect Mother. Oh, yes. Don't worry, I'll look after her. Good luck, boys. Look after yourselves. We will. Goodbye. Goodbye. went by, and still the boys didn't return from their journey of exploration. We were all deeply concerned. Secretly, we wondered if we would ever see them again. Volcanic Island. Where? South, southeast. About 150 degrees. There, there, I've got it. I think we should go back down that side. It'll be quicker. Looks a bit dry. But we've got plenty of water. I wonder what they're doing at home now. Probably worrying about us. Come on. Look at that, dry as dust. It hasn't rained for ages. I hope the boys are all right. If only we knew they were safe. I worry so about them. Oh, there's usually plenty of water in the mountains. Anyway, they should be back soon. Now, don't worry, dear. They're good lads and sensible. I wonder if they'll bring any new botanical specimens.
of my water. How much have you got left, Jack? Hey, it's empty. You won't get far without water. What's that? Whatever they are, they're coming this way. Get behind those rocks. Oh, they're harmless. Extraordinary birds, though. Ernest says they can run 40 miles an hour. Wow! If we could just capture one and ride it out of this desert. Yes. Where's that bolus father gave you? Quick, they're going. Don't. Easy, boy. You've got a long way to go. This is a great way to travel. Won't they ever be surprised back home when we arrive like this? They will. But we've still got a long way ahead of us. And it's my turn to ride, so save your breath. had returned safely with a wealth of information about our island. Our family seemed closer than it ever was. Rain! The wet season started! Oh, thank heavens. But the start of the rainy season brought its own problems. We're safe enough here, but if the water is that high already, the animals will be in danger on the lower ground. We'll have to move them up in the hills. Yes, and they'll need shelter too. Jack said there's limestone in the hills. There might even be caves there. Good. We'll start as soon as there's a break in the rain. be falling from the roof of the cave. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. I'll fire a shot to test its strength. I think we'd better try somewhere else. It looks solid enough, but before we can explore it, we'll have to remove all those rocks. Come on, boys. Let's see how strong you are. Uh, Jack. Will you keep an eye on the animals while we have a look inside? 
Yes. It's even bigger than the other cave. Watch out! The walls are strong, and the ceiling's high, which should give good ventilation. A sand floor. It's dry, too. Now, this cave should make a very good stable for our animals. There's another storm coming! All right, Jack. Now we know the animals are safe. When the rain eventually stopped, we went out to survey our little kingdom. It was a sorry sight. Oh, Hans. It's all ruined. Oh, not quite, my dear. But it will be a long time before another crop is ready. What will we do now? I'm afraid we have no choice, Jack. For the time being, the islands failed us. So now we'll have to try the sea. <laughs> You're very clever, Ernest. And Jack. When I grow up, I'm going to be a fisherman. I'll catch the biggest fish you ever saw. Bigger than Ernest and Jack's. I'm sure you will, dear. <laughs> Look, an albatross. It's beautiful. Look, the Albo, Albi, the bird wants to play with my boat. <laughs> There's some cloth on his leg. Look, writing. I am on the island of burning rocks. Please help me. Can birds write letters? No, Francis. A person wrote that. Someone in trouble. But where are the burning rocks? I know. The burning rocks must mean the volcanic island that Fritz and I saw on our trip. Yes, I remember. It's just off the coast. That way, where the albatross is going. Let me go, Father. My canoe's nearly finished. I can leave in the morning. It must be the volcano. And that's where Fritz is going. Your brothers and... We're all right, but... We've got to get out of here. I... I don't know if I can walk. The island started shaking, and I ran and fell and... I'll help you. We must get to the canoe. Thank Francis. 
He made friends with your bird and found your message. Oh, Hans. If he doesn't return soon... Martha, listen to me. Fritz is not a child anymore. He's a young man. But he never had to face dangers like this before. All the boys have been taught to look after themselves. Fritz will do the sensible thing. You'll see. I can see him! He's safe. Thank the Lord. My prayers have been answered. There's someone with him! And then the boat was washed ashore, happy to find you again. We all felt terrible when the storm was over and you had disappeared. But that's all over now. Welcome home. Thank you, Miss Anne. Not until we're all ready. And not before you've washed your hands and face. But I'm clean. Look. Francis? But, but, but I'm... Francis? The tub. Oh, all right. Mother, Fritz is holding Jenny's hand again. Well, you're holding mine. But that's different. What happens when you fall in love? Oh, I don't know. You do silly things. You don't eat properly. Fritz didn't eat his breakfast this morning. Fritz is in love. Fritz is in love. Little monster, come here. <laughs> <laughs> there was always plenty to do, and we had to be prepared at any time for the unexpected to happen. Hey, easy boy. What's wrong, boys? It's the animals. They're very restless. I wonder why. Now that sounds like jackals. Jackals? You mean wolves? Yes. We'd better prepare ourselves for visitors tonight. A herd of water buffalo down at the river. The jackals must have chased them out of the swamp. If they get through our fence, they'll destroy the crops. What should we do? Francis, you go back to the house. Ernest and Jack, guard the cave and light a fire. Fritz, you come with me. Getting closer. They won't get in here. They're stampeding. They're coming this way. They're gone, and we... we saved the crops. Mrs. Robinson. Jenny, you shouldn't be out here. I had to come. It's Mrs. Robinson. There's something wrong with her. Come, quickly. She just collapsed. No, 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 I didn't. Just... just a little tired, and... So? Oh. Martha! I had never felt so helpless since we came to the island. For the first time, I really missed civilization with its doctors and medicines. We watched over her as day by day she sank lower and lower in the grip of the fever. I've brought some more water. Huh? Oh, thanks, Jack. I'll stay with her. You've been up all night. Is Mother all right now? No, Francis. She's very ill. So ill that she might... might even... Well, then it is the Lord's will. All we can do is pray that she recovers. 
We'll all take turns staying with Mother, so that she's never alone. Yes, thank you, boys. Thank you. All through the long days and nights we watched over her, I believe it was the worst time we ever experienced on our island. Mother! She's well again! Mother is well! So the years slowly passed. We worked hard, and the island provided us with everything we needed. The boys grew up straight and tall, and Jenny blossomed into a lovely young woman. By the 10th anniversary of the shipwreck, we had long since given up hope of ever being found. Then, one day... Look up there. There, on the horizon. It's... It's a sail. Jenny, it's a ship. A ship? There's a ship. Hurry up, dear. We don't get many visitors. Captain Littleston, Royal Navy, sir. Madam? Hans Robinson, sir. And this is my family. And that's our story. Incredible. And if we hadn't been blown off our course, you could have remained here for another ten years. I'm indeed happy to have you aboard. We sail in the morning. Martha, can we really leave? You know what's in my heart. The captain... If you would just take Jenny and my sons back with you. A pleasure, sir. But uh, what about you and your wife? We're getting on in years, Captain. But the young people have their whole lives ahead of them. You're not coming with us. But, Father, you can't stay. The island is our home now. We've spent some of the best years of our lives here. We could never leave now. Father! Mother! We can't go without you. We won't leave. No, 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 never. no we no, won't no. leave. Children, our minds are made up. All we ask is that you think of us sometimes. Perhaps one day we may see you again. We'll return after I've made a certain request to Jenny's father. Father, we will all return. We have worked together and carved a place to live out of the wilderness. We've had good times and hard times. But you can be sure of one thing. We will never, never forget our island. This will always be our family home, and our hearts will remain here with you forever. <laughs>